Hey there, it's Brittany, and I'm back with an unboxing video from um, items I've gotten from Lori Matson. Um, one was from April and one was just recently. Um, I have stopped doing some haul videos from Facebook just because of time purposes, but I figured I'd go through because I haven't looked at one and the other one had some pretty good stuff in it. Um, sorry, I'm not, I don't know if I'm sick, but I, I'm pretty sure it's just a really bad allergic reaction from being in Cleveland because I get allergies really bad there and I just got back. Um, really late Thursday night so uh, let's go through and see what I got because even though I've gone through this one can't remember it because <laughs> it was about a month ago all right so um, I do remember these these are really nice quality um, very nice plated little filigrees they're gorgeous these would be really pretty with a flower cabochon just in the middle and then hung from an ear wire very easy and then we've got these, which are wonderful. I think they, um, well, I could just use it like this, but I think you can pinch it closed around something. Very cool. I got some little, I think these are glass, vintage beads, like spec speckled green. Love these, love them. They're large holes, so they're perfect. These would look really nice with all my tribal and ethnic beads. And I also got them in a beautiful blue. Gorgeous. And then of course I got a bunch of filigree because it's Lori and she has the best filigrees around and for the best prices and brass. So let's take a look at this one. These she said are more contemporary than the rest of the brass that I bought from her, but they're beautiful. They're these big hearts and I could do anything to these and I'm really in the, um, I'm really into using patinas right now. So I bought a ton of patinas. I'm not even going to tell you how many, how much money I spent on the patina, but they're out of, I mean, they're out of production. So I had to get what I could. <laughs> um, so this is what vintage patina looks like. They've come out with ultimate paint. It's not my favorite so far to use on metal, but, um, I'm, I'm continuously trying new things. I bought some Tim Holtz Distress Paint, which works on metal, but I didn't really love the effect. Um, I'll probably be using that a lot on wood. But these are gorgeous. Love these. So I got f f six of those, four of them, six of them. And then um, this mix, she, she tends to put together mixes that I really like. Um, we've got some hammered and a really cool shape brass. Um, more hammered brass. Some cool little triangles and I love that these don't have holes I can put them in myself the really reason I bought this one was for this pendant which is really gorgeous um, we've got another one I could put a cabochon here love this guy like look at that so wonderful I love this donut Another reason why I bought this little pack. We've got some little like architectural detail looking things. These look remind me, remind me of some like 80s clip on earrings. <laughs> um, couple little fan shapes. Love those. Again, hammered. Some cameo settings. These are really neat. If you're into assemblage, these are really cool too. And then just some neat shapes. And then from this order, and of course I'm going to go right into the next one that I haven't opened yet. Um, I have one more package of brass. We've got a huge filigree here. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. One day I'll get back into using all my cabochons. One day. Um, love this. This is just so beautiful. I would kind of want to put like an around piece right on top and just use it as a pendant like that. Not Maybe not this one, but something like that. Or maybe like a round cab, stone cab. Um, beautiful little flower. Little tiny connectors. They're so teeny tiny. I love them. Love these flowers. So they're just brass. This big guy. Love it. I don't know. Maybe this way. Maybe this way. Could tie. Um, if I would do it this way, tie some leather here. If I did it this way, I'd probably punch a hole somewhere in here another filigree I'm sure I have some that look like that these which are nice little um, chandeliers but I could cut those off too and just make it a little drop 
some more little connectors. These I just thought were so cool. I don't know. They're just really neat. I could cut off the ring, I could keep the ring on, I could use it as like a slider on a bracelet or a necklace. Very cool. Love that they're copper. Love that they already have their like little natural patina on them. And then another one of these. And then this big guy, which I think was these two were the reason that I bought this little set. Isn't that gorgeous? I love them. Too bad my first name doesn't start with an O because that would be a great initial for a necklace. <laughs> All right. So the current order from Lori. Let's see. I have no idea what's in here. I'm sure I'll remember after I open it, but I have no idea. All right. That's the fun thing about Facebook sales. You're just surprised when it gets there. At least I am. Because I usually only buy from really trusted sellers. Um, like Lori and Nina and the people that I bought, for from, bought from before. Oh, yes. A little enamel kit. So look how beautiful this vintage brooch is. Oh, that yellow. Look at the beautiful yellow enamel in there. Oh, I want to make um, like an heirloom piece out of this, like a necklace, possibly with just being able to remove the brooch so I can wear it um, in the future just as a brooch. I could always attach like a loop back here or something. This is so gorgeous. That enameling is stunning. I love it. I love it. Then we have two drops that match. Unfortunately, I can't wear them as earrings, but um, I think I would put maybe make a small necklace out of one and maybe make put one on a bracelet. They're gorgeous though. I love that enameling. I need to try that. And then I got these little um, heart charms which what I'll do here is probably upcycle these into a piece of jewelry for myself and then um, clean up these posts um, and or and or piece them out and I can sell them or make another pair of earrings or something so cute love that love I love this it's my favorite thing so far what else do we have well would you look at that another metal <laughs> <laughs> thing this one was 18 pieces oh my gosh and I had a ton of faces I had like the second I saw it I was like mine 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 so we have a um, beautiful fairy gosh she is gorgeous or a goddess whatever you want her to be she is beautiful I've got um, a moon oh my goodness with a, a woman sitting inside the moon her hair is going up the side. That is awesome. Got a beautiful lady. She's cool. I like her hair. Two of these. Flower inside. It's beautiful. Look at that. I don't know what I would do here, but it's so gorgeous. Um, two paisleys. Oh my gosh. Look at the quatrefoil in there. That's cool. And these are always so much more stunning in real life than they are on the uh, photos that you see. Another filigree um, flourish looking thing. Ooh, a different lady. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. I'll probably make, I want, before I use this in anything, make a, a mold out of it so I can use it in the future. I'll probably do the same thing with like the paisley and possibly this lady. We've got another moon. Ooh, he's got like a squished face going on there. He's got he's kind of sassy, isn't he? Another one of these <gasps> little tiny moons. Gosh, this is like the best kit ever. I didn't even remember seeing the moons. I just remember seeing the ladies. Little tiny moon charms <gasps> and even tinier moon charms. OMG, look how little smaller than my t my pinky finger. Those are awesome another lady but sh is she smaller yeah and this one's actually got loops on it a little bit different metal very both of them are very sturdy these are top quality and then this really large cameo which is the same as this but i absolutely will be making a mold of this and this oh my gosh look how fabulous that is i future me is gonna make something really cool out of that don't know what it is but can't wait to see it <laughs> 
Next, I got these acrylic beads. I kind of waffled back and forth, but just looking at them, I'm very excited that I got them. I'm pretty sure I have some that look kind of like this that I've gotten on strands from Joann's, but um, I've always they've always been in a color, and so I'm just really glad that I got a mix of them just in black. They're they're kind of like a gunmetal color. And then look at these. These are vintage. They're like clear, but they have a black stripe going through them. These are fan. Fantastic. Oh my goodness. They are so much fun. Oh my goodness. I love, love, love those. Next, um, I think these were two separate orders that she put together for me because I didn't order a whole lot from one sale. But um, she had these little stainless steel chains. So I got a couple of them because they're just like really cool paper clip chains. Love them. They're like little necklaces love that so cool yeah I got two of those um, I purchased a cabochon and oh she included a couple glue on bales which are really nice I want to try um, I don't know wire wrapping or, or using polymer clay but this is K2 stone um, which I don't have a lot of but this is a gorgeous specimen look at that that is really nice and then if I wanted to, I could just glue on a bale like that. You don't have to wire wrap. You don't have to use polymer clay or do whatever you want. You could just do whatever you want. And then we have a very large piece. I think what I'll do with this is um, go over it with black to make it look a little bit more um, detailed. So black patina, rub it in and then rub it off pretty quickly. And then, um, I might come back with some green, brown, and yellow to make these sunflowers pop, or this sunflower pop. I don't know, but it's really cool. I almost want to cut off these, but I, you know, future me again will be making some really good decisions. I think. <laughs> um, and then she put a little thank you gift in here. Thanks again, Brittany. I love Lori. And then um, let's see what's in here. Oh my gosh, those are so cool. It's almost like a flower and a flower and leaf and then almost like a half of a heart. That's pretty cool. And then we've got some neat little squiggly connectors. I have some of these. And then, oh my gosh, she sent cloisonne. I love cloisonne. I don't have too much of it. I have some, but not a whole lot. These are gorgeous little donuts. Bead frames almost. Those are wonderful. Thank you, Lori. Those are so sweet. And then I've got two more packages here. Here's another one of acrylic beads. This is wonderful. I was like thinking like these will just be the focal on a necklace that I have a really nice pendant. Maybe not between them. They're black like the other ones on the inside, but clear on the outside. And they have a beautiful, almost like stained glass, like um, leaded glass pattern on them. That's what I think. They're beautiful. Thank you, Lori. And last but not least, one more package of brass. And of course, I had to get it because it was all hearts. Oh my goodness! Look at this big. Oh my gosh! Let's just let's just take a minute. So we've got a beautiful butterfly here, and let me tell you, this is solid. That guy's not going anywhere. I'm thinking maybe tying some. I mean, I guess I could just use bead wire, but or, or don't bring or something, but maybe tying some leather to both sides. And then I've got a beautiful leaf here and some beautiful flower buds here. So I could, I mean, absolutely just hit this with some patina to highlight it. I could sand it to highlight it, but I almost want to paint it some beautiful, bright flowers, beautiful, bright um, butterfly and leaf, and then sand the rest to bring out that copper. This is gorgeous. That is really beautiful. We've got a beautiful stamping. Oh my gosh, look at the detail. Got like a geometric shape here. Look at the striations in the flower and the leaves and the flourishes around. That's really pretty. We've got um, like almost like a little kidney bean shape, but it is a heart, but it's not a heart, you know? It's really pretty. I wanna paint like maybe like an, make this into like an ocean look. 
like paint if I could paint an actual ocean I don't know I might have to outsource that one <laughs> I don't know that I know how to paint an ocean or a wave oh my gosh these are really heavy gauge like you're not bending these these are solid brass look at the patina coming in on that these are probably from the 80s or 70s or 80s maybe 90s but they look almost 80s and then they're just really nice hefty hearts gosh those are really cool um some a really nice I'm just checking to see if there's another one there is a uh, little filigree leaf heart which I did finally paint one that I got probably in like one of the first hauls that I did from Lori let me see if I can find it so when I'm talking about painting pieces this is what I did during the patina party at um Julie's house a couple weeks ago so I painted this one this one had been in my mind forever and I know it doesn't look very much like very much but I have an idea for it and I'm gonna hang it below a check glass flower and I just really wanted the, the fronds on the leaf to be prominent and green but this is what I'm talking about like for this big one um, I outlined it in gr uh, black I like, really rubbed a lot of black in the recesses and then I painted the flower and this was actually based off of one that Julie had already done I just painted it a little differently than she did so that's what I mean when I'm talking about painting the flowers on here just sprucing it up giving it some new life um, I also based this one off of one that Julie had already done and made a pair of earrings out of but isn't that really fun just what you can do and that's not coming off of there that that vintage paint is on there um, some that I kind of did by myself were these little butterflies aren't those fun um, these little butterflies I had a lot of fun with butterflies that day these are from Pam aren't those fun and then I did some flowers little tiny flower connectors did another butterfly that I'm gonna put on a bracelet did a little camper and made it a little distressed isn't that cute and then we tried using um, alcohol markers on the other side and while it kind of worked I just really liked the, the way the patina looked a lot better and then I rubbed some of it off to make it look a little bit more vintage and then I made this little this used to be silver so that's what patina can do so here's the back it used to be silver but I turned it navy blue and gold so that's what I'm talking about when I'm talking about patina. Now patina also works on wood. So um, here's another one that I did. Isn't that fun? It was so boring and then I hit it with two or three different types of patinas and now it's like one of my favorite pendants. Um, this one I struggled with. I'm not gonna lie, I might go back over it, but it, it, it finally turned out how I wanted it to. It looks a little ancient Egypty, I guess, or Grecian. Here's some wood that I painted. Look at this guy. Isn't he fun? Isn't he fantastic? Did a little ombre little guy. I don't know why he only has six arms. <laughs> um, I did uh, a dragonfly. And I did a flower. So if you want to see a video on this, I don't know when I'm going to do it, but just let me know. Put a comment down below because I like making videos that you want to see, but you know. The brain is full of content most of the time. It's just getting it out into the world. So that's some ideas. If you ever hear me talk about patina, that's what I'm talking about. So back to this beautiful haul. <laughs> hey, sorry, I got off track. Um, we've got a few different types of hearts here, quite a few. So um, here we go, two ch solid charms. They're beautiful. We've got a larger one with a little bow on it, my goodness. Future me is going to be having so much fun with this stuff. Look at this beautiful, stunning bow. This, I kind of want to do something Christmassy with this one just because of that bow, but the flower like, makes it anytime, you know? Um, oh, look, look, there, you can use either side. Kind of like the puffy side better, but I feel like this is the back actually, but one's just the positive and negative of the other. Those are so much fun. And then we've got a triple heart. Can, oh no, double heart connector. So pretty. We've got some silver hearts. Silver like little heart locks. Oops. 
We've got oh, little love you or I love you. That's cute with a little heart on the inside. Some beautiful flourishes here. Lockets. Oh my gosh, it's teeny tiny. I gotta put Goldie in there. A cute little heart. Um, not frame. Setting almost there. Oh my goodness, look at these little tiny stampings. So tiny. Those would be really cute, like um, post earrings. Now, is this the same? It is, but look, it's smaller. So you can make a necklace and a smaller necklace because I don't do earrings. <laughs> I do earrings. I have solid gold earrings in, but that's all I wear. Um, that is really cool. Some more um, lockets. And then look at this little guy. He's a little sassy for me. I love him. He's a little bit more pointed than the others. Another one of these. I don't, oh, it is a locket. I didn't know this. Oh, wait, wait. Maybe it's not. Maybe it is. Maybe it's not. It is. It is not. For some reason, it's like. It's two pieces, but it's not a locket. So I'm going to have to crunch those back together. <laughs> but I think it just makes it puffy. All right, and then last but not least, this beautiful one, which actually goes really well with this one. That is beautiful. It's like that that black on it, or that black like ox that Vintage has. Really wonderful. Wow, this whole order from well, there there were two orders from Lori were they were just amazing. Thank you, Lori. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Let me know what you want to see. Let me know what you would make with some of these. What was your favorite piece? And I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Stay tuned for Goldie. She's super cute. Bye-bye. I don't think you're comfortable, are you? <laughs> I've never seen a more comfy dog in my life. What a goober. Good ball.